Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. I want to talk a little bit about weight loss. And if you're interested in this topic, just give me a knee 10 15 minutes. I make we talk a little bit about the weight loss, right? So I know they have a lot of people who have a hard time losing weight or shedding the fat. I want to give one on the tip. Just some basic information on how it is it that you gain fat. Why does your body like retain the fat? Um, and if you could understand that, then you can understand how to lose the fat or lose the weight. Make sense? Now Make we talk about it, right? So you all start with what you put in your body, right? What you put in your mouth. So this is the stomach. Just imagine for a second this is the stomach, right? And right there you have the acid. So from the stomach, it goes to the intestine, right? Now, when we put food in the stomach, right? what happens is that the body starts to go through the process of digestion. So, the acids start to increase in strength. So that means the pH of it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So, when you put food in here, or you could test this out when you just smell food, and you smell it, and you smell it, and the smells smell good, you start to feel the, 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 the stomach, they grow. The acid, the build up the strength, right? So the acid... It is designed to help break down proteins and disinfect the food. Make sense? So you have to go through this stage first before it starts to go into the intestine for the next stage. If it properly get broken down and it properly get disinfected and put right there the intestine and it's going through more digestion, the pancreas. The pancreas want produce or produces certain things to help complete the process of digestion, right? Yeah. So as long as this they happen appropriately, the food will go down the rest of the intestine. Now it could go. Now it could be absorbed in the body. So it going through uh, some of the lymphatic system. Then it going through the um, kidney, the liver, are you going through that, then going to the blood. Because you have to pass through the food, what we put, yeah, have to pass through different stages of breaking down and filtration through the process of absorbing it into the bloodline. And then it could get distributed all over the body. That makes sense? So now, what normally happens in our culture? In our culture, where we see a, a very easy to gain weight, is that we do something wrong and interfere in this process. And as soon as we interfere in this process, we start to notice that the body starts to get a bit bigger or sicker. So, when we put food in here, what we do wrong is that we don't allow the acid to build up the strength and deal with this. We don't allow it. Because we eat food and we drink water. Or juice. Or other liquids. And we we um, we drink during and after we eat. And that actually prevents the acid from gaining its strength. And when the acid is not strong enough, it not broke down the food properly. It not disinfect the food properly. So you end up with food right there in the intestine. Partially digested, partially disinfected. And if you continue to do this, what happens is that the food, it not get processed properly. right? And it stays stagnant in the intestine. So you got all of this trash, it's stagnant. And the more you do that, you repeatedly do that. You eat food and you drink liquids after. You not allow the body or the stomach or the digestion to do its job. This starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You ever notice people 
but then drink a lot of on the weekends, you know, and then drink and they eat them barbecue and then drink bears and they eat the meat and they eat and then the belly just get bigger and bigger and bigger and they say, oh, that's a beer belly. I don't know beer belly. That's a belly full of trash, full of things when not get digested, full of the meat and all of the other foods that you put in here and then they get digested or processed properly. So that the cause a problem. What you do is that because it's, it not move as it should and it rotten in ya, you got other types of ways that your body to try broke it down. And one of the ways is that it have other bacteria, other type of moles and funguses where try broke it down because it never gone through the proper process. So then got one bacteria H. pylori, where when the body receive food, when not get properly processed, this guy is right there come in for the rescue and it try broke it down. Now, if you not understand this, you might believe that H. pylori they cause the problem. But once you understand what it want, you want to know that H. pylori can cause the problem and anybody who said that H. pylori cause infection or cause the problem, they don't know what then they talk about. And you should ask them to look into this information right there. So now, if this continuously they happen and you continuously they eat food and drink liquid and the food stay right there, it start to cause irritation in the intestinal lining and irritation will cause inflammation and irritation will cause inflammation and what you call inflammation of the gastrointestines gastritis so because of the way we eat it could create problems in the gut and you see the big belly now if this continuously happen and you continuously interfere in the production of acid, meaning that you take some type of medication where one bring down or weaken the stomach acid, your food will not get digested properly. And what sense it make if you eat food and you don't get digested? In order for your blood to receive the nutrients or your body to receive the nutrients, you have to go through the stages of digestion. And, they, and in order to make that happen, you have to have strong stomach acid. So anybody will recommend that you weaken the acid in order to better your health. Something wrong with that recommendation or the way that they look at things. Then know they understand this science, right? Yeah. So now, this ongoing cause inflammation cause irritation will eventually cause ulceration so now if you have ulceration meaning damage like you get wounded inside internal cut internal wounds in the intestine what happens is that you got more trash they go in the blood or in the body in the lymphatic system you have more trash they go internally so now what that does is that you have to understand something. Fat. Your body or our body uses fat for a very smart reason. Whenever they got poison, toxin, or acidic waste, the way the body protects us internally is it wrap it up in a fat or mucus. So the more fat we have, the more poison, toxin, and acidic waste we have because the body have to encapsulate it and store it internally. It do that to protect the rest of the internal body from the poison. Make sense? So now if you want to lose the fat, you now have to create the conditions for your body to take out the poison, take out the toxin, take out the acidic waste. So you have to go through a detoxification period. 
you have to also heal this digestive system. You have to eat appropriately, stop, eat in a manner where it is not conducive uh, to, to this ease. You have to eat in a manner where it makes sense that you want your food to get properly digested and this name. So, I know that it might sound like a very easy um, tip, which is when you eat your food, stay away from liquids. After you eat your food, stay away from liquid, liquids for three to four hours. And you continuously do that. And try to eat healthy, you know. Remember, if you unhealthy, it's because you eat unhealthy or you practice unhealthy habits. If you want health, you have to practice healthy habits. So, if you continuously avoid eating and drinking liquids at the same time, and you drink your herbs and you purge out this system, you take one whole month to deal with the digestive system, clean out the system, rehabilitate the system. If you deal with this first and this get healed, the rest of the body will start to heal right after. And if you detoxify properly, you have to lose fat. You have to shed the fat. It's just how it works. But remember, when you take out poisons from your body, 